Welcome back, denizens of the night, to V Rising. One surprising change that came with the secrets of Gloomrot was how Beatrice the Tailor no longer gives you the human form transformation. This change makes sense once you see how this next boss works. When you wander the roads of the Dunley farmlands, you'll notice cloaked figures wandering about. They could be civilians, they could be the undead in disguise, or they could be our next target, Bane the Shadowblade. Bane roams the map in disguise, so you'll need to use your V-Blood tracking in order to find out where he is. For this fight, I recommend Veil of Blood for healing, a counter like Ward of the Damned, then either Corrupted Skull for distractions or Blood Fountain for healing, depending on your playstyle. Before engaging, remember to wait until he moves to a spot where you can pull him off the road so you won't be interrupted by wandering patrols. If he dashes, he'll throw three darts at you. If he glows purple, he's about to do a spin attack. His basic attack is always two pairs of slow slashes then a charge attack that incapacitates you. Sometimes when he dashes, he'll create shades that also throw darts at you. When he uses his combo attack, use your counterattack against the last swing. If he ever disappears, he's about to teleport behind you. Use your dash ability to get out of the way. After a while, he'll start using his ultimate attack. He will disappear, and up to a dozen cloaked figures will appear. When you attack these figures, they will turn into skeletons. You need to find which one of them is the real name. You'll have to look closely, but one of those skeletons will have a faint purple glow on them. When he's revealed, the other skeletons will go away. As a tip, when he does his basic combo, what if the damned can block the last three attacks? Having up to three skeletons can help you a lot in this fight. Whenever I dodge his sneak attack, I always hit him once to activate my Veil's ability, which heals me for 5%. It also applies Leech, so I follow up with my Spear's Q ability for more damage and healing. One unfortunate thing about the cloaked figures is that you can't see the purple glow until after you reveal their skeletal form. However, Bane can't keep his mouth shut. With good stereo headphones, he'll give away his position if you listen carefully. Upon defeat, you'll obtain the Unholy Dash ability, Veil of Bones, the human transformation, slasher weapons, and the ability to craft a small coin purse. Coin bags are nice because you can freely carry a lot of silver in them without being hurt from the silver. You can then use your new human form to take those coins to the Dunley Farmer's Market to buy yourself some goods. Have a look at my wares. I find the best items are seeds, books, and you'll need a coin purse if you want to buy rare hats. Here's another unique strategy I've discovered. I'll All right, this quick and quiet. Bane is not an ally of the people of the Dunley Farmlands. If another boss, like Jade the Vampire Hunter, is close, you can actually get them to fight each other. Despite Jade being much higher level, Bane can do a pretty decent job against her. Remember to stay hidden and far away when their fight first starts. You don't want to get into that mix until later.
Unfortunately, when Bane hides among the cloaked figures, whoever he's fighting will de-aggro. If you want this strategy to work, you'll probably have to make it a three-way fight and kill them both off. All right, partner. Let's get this. As you'll see here, I attacked Jade to make sure she wouldn't leave the fight again and regain all her health. you can do with this is that if Jade dies first, you can suck her blood to gain some health back and the explosion will kill most of the skeletons around you. You get a free V-Blood kill and this particular phase of the fight will be a lot easier. Can you recognize me in this disguise? The fight might look hectic, but if you rewatch both of my fights enough times, you should be able to pick up on all of his moves. Until then, bloodsuckers, good night. <laughs>